Greetings from the state capitol in Olympia. I'm Lou Ann Van Werben, your state representative from Whatcom County's beautiful 42nd District. For the first six to seven weeks of the legislative session, we as lawmakers spend most of our time in committees listening to public hearings of proposed bills. This year, there were bills, bills, and more bills. At last check, there were 1,246 House bills introduced and 1,038 Senate bills. That is almost 2,300 bills in six weeks. At one point, we were averaging more than 56 bills being introduced each day. Keep in mind, we are only in session for 105 days. Of course, not all bills get a public hearing, but it may give you an idea of what it's like to keep track of legislation and our workload. We are at the point where we have reached our first major deadlines of this year's legislative session. Both policy and fiscal committee cutoff dates have come and gone. What that means is policy bills that did not make it out of their respective policy committees by the cutoff date are considered dead. We have also passed our fiscal committee cutoff dates. Fiscal committees include appropriations, finance, capital budget, and transportation. Like the policy cutoff, all fiscal related bills must be passed by the fiscal committee cutoff date or they are considered dead for the session. Bills necessary to implement the budget, like the operating capital and transportation budgets, those are exempt from the cutoffs. After the cutoff dates, we spend nearly two weeks with many late nights on the House floor debating and voting on bills. When we pass a bill out of the House of Representatives, it goes over to the Senate for consideration, and it goes through the same process it did in the House. During House floor debate, I expect to have a few of the bills that I've been working on come up for a vote. Some were great ideas from you. The idea for House Bill 1059 comes from a mental health counselor in Whatcom County. The legislation would extend the business and occupation tax filing deadline for annual filers to April 15. These taxpayers are often self-employed and they rely on other businesses to send them their 1099s in a timely manner. Currently, the annual filing deadline is January 31. However, due to federal deadlines, many taxpayers do not receive their 1099s until February or March. So with this change, they will not have to file an extension. Working with college students in Whatcom County and around the state, I introduced House Bill 1702. It would begin to address the soaring costs of textbooks over the last 20 years. The bill requires community and technical colleges at the time of registration to let students know whether low-cost materials are available. Low cost means $50 or less. In addition to notifying students if low-cost textbooks are available, they will also be notified when free online textbooks are used in college courses. I also introduced House Bill 1701, the same bill, but it would pertain to our four-year universities. Unfortunately, a couple of the universities believed implementing the legislation is just too costly. House Bill 2013 would allow the Allied Forces members to apply for and receive Allied Forces Remembrance emblems for display on their license plates. I am pleased to offer legislation allowing those who fought alongside America's finest men and women to be recognized. We are about halfway through the legislative session. I would urge you to contact me if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about legislation or the legislative session. It is an honor to represent you. Thank you.